Hello everyone, join me today for a 10-minute morning practice in this beautiful place to awaken the body and mind and get your day started feeling good and productive. But before we begin, if you like my YouTube videos, consider joining my membership site for more videos on energy, stress relief and sleep. And if you want to go deeper into your practice, you can join me live every Sunday on Zoom for a 45-minute Qigong session. You can find more information on how to join in the description below. Let's begin today's practice. We begin in a standing position. Keep your feet firmly planted on the ground. Drop your tailbone down to relax your lower back. Keep your spine long and your shoulders relaxed. Let's warm up with a twist and turn exercise. When doing this exercise, remain a strong connection to the ground through your feet. At the same time, keep your spine long, reaching upwards towards the sky. You can have a mental image of a tree extending its roots deeper into the ground for nourishment. At the same time, light and uplifted in your neck, shoulders, and the head. Begin to slow down the movement. On an inhale, lift your shoulders up. On an exhale, send them down. Give a good range of motion and finding a way to link your breath to the movement. Inhale as you go up. Exhale down. Change the direction. Inhale, draw your shoulders up. Exhale, relax down. One more time. Relax your neck and shoulders. From here, circle your arm to the back. Allowing a gentle twist across the abdomen and the lower back. But mostly focusing your attention on the shoulder. When you're finished, change the direction, sending your arm back. Begin rotating your body from left to right as you draw in a circular shape in front of your body. Slow down and change sides. Firstly, doing six repetitions to the back. Then when you're ready, change the direction. One more time. Bring both hands back to center. Moving on to the next exercise. Warming up the spine through a gentle wave. Inhale. Extend forward, opening through the neck and the front of the chest. Exhale, contracting the muscles of the abdomen. Lift up. Be extra careful, especially on your neck. Find a way 
to move your neck without dropping it too far to the back or too far forward. I would recommend using 70% of the effort when you're working with the neck. Another key point here is to keep your hips and your legs engaged. Keep sending your hips to the back as you reach forward. Very good. Return to center. We continue with hip rotations. Feel free to place both of your hands on your lower back or let them rest by the side. When you're ready, change the direction. Come back to center, shift your weight to one leg and let's do hip openers six times. If you find this exercise challenging, feel free to do three or four repetitions instead of six and taking your time in between to rest. Go ahead and do the same on the other leg. Then bring your feet together, moving down to the knee joints, six repetitions as you slowly circle around. Taking your time here is important, trying to connect your mind to the muscles and trying to feel your joints, feel the mechanics inside of your body. Change that direction. Then gently push your knees out, shift them forward and stand up with a head up. Adjust your feet. From here, we're going to do an exercise from the 18 forms of Tai Chi Chi Gong. Look at the bottom of the ocean, gaze at the stars. This is a very good exercise for the lower back and the kidneys. It also helps to strengthen the hips. On an inhale, you raise up. On the exhale, you lean forward. I encourage you to find a comfortable stance where you can distribute your weight 70 30 whenever you're moving forward or moving back. Be careful here not to overload your lower back. Send some of that effort to your hips and your legs. Return to center and change sides. Continue for six repetitions. Inhale as you raise up. Exhale forward. One more time, breathe in, adjust your feet and exhale to soften, to release and to comfort yourself. We're going to finish by centering ourselves and gathering the chi in the lower dantian. Come to a wuji stance and draw your attention to your center, the area just below your navel, 
a little bit deeper into your abdomen. Forming the shape of the ball with your hands. Take a couple of deep breaths into your belly. Stay calm, centered and present in your body. Breathe here for as long as you need. Allowing your mind to be still. Allow your body to be relaxed and your breath calm. When you're ready, bring your feet together and finish your practice. Thank you very much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed it and feel good. Thank you for joining me today. If you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to click a subscribe button so you don't miss any future videos or live streams. I wish you a great health and see you next time.